Yeah, hello. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so the hadith you said, um, I just wanted to point out a mistake or uh, an error or or the lie you just did. So in the hadith you quoted, it doesn't say Satan melts when Jesus appears. What it says? It doesn't say Satan. Well, who's who's he? Who is this one who disappeared? It's the Jal. Okay, it says the enemy of Allah. Is the enemy of Allah the the Jal? And Satan is one person, or they are two different person. Uh, the two different people. So Allah now have one enemy or two enemies. So um, the Satan is the enemy of Allah, and there's also um, okay. So how you came to the conclusion that this is the Dajjal? It says here only the enemy of Allah will appear. How you came to the conclusion this is the Dajjal? Because other hadiths they mention that this is Dajjal. Okay, you, let me you ask you, as long as you are the one who said this, guys, he, did he say that the Dajjal is different yeah, one from Shaitan? Did you say that? Yeah, of course. Okay, who is the Dajjal? The one you call him Dajjal. Dajjal is, um, what do you mean? Do you, are you asking him about his nature? Or I'm asking you, who is he? A Dajjal. He's, um, um, he's going to be against Jesus when, when this, Jesus uh, 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 I'm not asking you who's going to be against who and why he will be against Jesus I, I thought he's against Allah yeah, he's against the religion and Allah and okay no it's, so you, you are, okay, uh, the hadith Jesus says he is the enemy of Allah and now you just said he's against Jesus that's wonderful that's mean Jesus is God so now I'm asking you who is al Masih al Dajjal don't tell me he will be against I'm not I'm not asking you who's against who now who is he I, I already told you. Who is he? What, what do you mean? Who is he? What, what do you want to know what about? Do you mean? Who is he? Who is he? He's a being like uh, he's going to be a being that's going to come. What, and, what do you uh, mean? Who is he? What do you mean? He is a being. What does that mean? Who is he? I don't understand what you're asking. Now you understand, but you are trying to play games. You don't want to answer. I just told you, he's just a being. He's gonna okay, I'm asking and, you, who uh, is this what, being? What, what, who is this what, one? Who is this one? Where he's coming from? What his ability? What his power? Where he? What he was? He is what? What? Is he a human being? Son of a human being? No. He's, so, uh, guys, did he say no? We, we, did he, oh, hold on, hold on. Did you just say no? He is not a human being. He is not a son of a human being. Did you say no? Yeah, from my okay. understanding, he's not. So he, he is a son of who? Like he is a son of who? He is from what kind? His nature, his, his nature, we, we're not aware of. So we don't know his what? nature. What what? His nature, we're not aware of. What do you mean? It could be a hybrid. <laughs> I thought your Allah, He created only certain kind of a creation, angels, a human, and genie. Yeah, this might be a hybrid between the humans and the jinns. That's mean there's different creator. I mean creation from different creator because Allah He said in the Quran, He created the following. He created the animals, uh, whatever is in the earth as uh, animals, etc., like grass and water, etc. And then He created Allah some said creatures. He created everything. He said He created everything. So He, yeah. he told us many okay. uh, things but like He counted count things, things, uh, things He created. He, cr he counted the things He created: angels and genie and the human. Yeah, and okay. he also told he never told us some things as well. All right. So where you get this from? That he is a from different kind, and if it's not a human, you said he's not a human. So what he is? But I already told you his nature is not known to it. It could be a hybrid. You could. We what, don't know his nature. What do you mean? Where do you get this from? <laughs> what? Where you get this because, from? Because because. Where do you get yeah, this from? That first, okay, you see, I'm trying to understand how Muslim they think. Where do you get this from? That he is not a human first. Okay, let me find something. Some references. Thank you.
So here it says the, the word Dajjal it means um, something that's confusing and uh, vague and ambiguous. So it's, it's going to be a vague um, and it also let me find some more details. And what is the answer? I'm waiting for your answer now. I'll find the answer here, Bhakti. No, no, don't go back to me. You see, I want you to read first of all, just to show you how shallow your understanding and you are far from being mature yet. I'm not insulting you, but did you read even what is in the screen? Yeah, you, that was wrong. You okay. said you said Can it. a human being disappear or dissolve himself? Can a human being dis dissolve? What, the, what does that mean? How a human being can do that? Yeah, so he wasn't, he wasn't a human. Okay, he's not a human. But did he appear in the shape of a human? Uh, yeah. Okay. So now we have that he disappear, dissolve like salt in the water. He appear in the shape of a man. All right. Now, did he claim that he is the Messiah? He... Yeah, I think he did, yeah. Okay. So... Is the Messiah is a man? Messiah is a man. Okay. Is he a man or not? Yeah, Messiah is a man. All right. Did the Messiah and the false Messiah and Allah, they have this the same exact look? No. So how do you explain this hadith? You are prophet, he is afraid that you Muslim will think that the false messiah is Allah. No, he, he does for emphasis, he's given emphasis for the people what who are He's afraid, my friend, he's afraid. He's afraid saying, I, if you, I'm afraid that you are, if you are confused about him, know that your God is not one-eyed. About him who? About the Dajjal, right? Yeah, so the, okay. so what, what so the prophet what is the doing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, what he's doing, he's pointing out a defect within Dajjal and he's saying that your Lord is not one-eyed, meaning that he's not, he hasn't got any defects. Okay, what is the defect between, what, Allah is perfect, the Dajjal is defect. Allah have two eyes, the, def, the, the Dajjal have one eye. Allah right? is perfect in his sight. Dajjal will have one defective eye. Thank you guys, did he say defense. Allah is perfect in his sight, so Allah, he have two physical eyes. But look what, no, what no. your prophet, he no, said. No, hold on, your prophet, he described a man. He did not describe God. He described a man, is that correct? I have told you so much about the Dajjal, Antichrist, that I am afraid you might not understand that the Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and an eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. Is he describing a man here or describing something else? Yeah, he is talking about the. Okay, so he is describing a man, so let us make it clear. He is describing a man. So why the Muslim will be confused between him and Allah if Allah is not a man? For many reasons, for many reasons. Because he's what going do to be mean? doing miracles. He's going to be doing miracles. He's going to be able to give a life to but the dead. But if you Muslims know, if you Muslim believe, Muhammad is speaking to the Muslims. And if the Muslim believe that Allah is not a man anyway, so how person come in, he's a man, you, that will make him think he's Allah. It's possible because many, even Muslims, even at that time. Okay, but uh, look what your prophet said. Your prophet, he did not say, me, hey, no, let, you see, let, 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 let me show you how corrupt is your logic. Your prophet, me, oh, what you need to say, remember that your God is not a man. So whoever is a man, don't believe his God. That's it. But he did not say that. He said the only difference between them is the eye, which means your God, Allah, he have, a, he is a deep seat, nor, deep, nor deep seated, neither protruding. He have worried here. He, 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 is, he is short and he is hinted. All this description is fit exactly with Allah, except one thing, the eye. Yeah, like I just said to you, it's emphasis and uh, and he's pointing out this. So defect. Allah is a man. Uh, Allah does have a defect. Allah is no, a man. No, no. Of, course, of course Allah is not a man. Allah says it clearly in the Quran. My friend, Your Allah friend. is a man. The hadith in front of you. What a different by look between the man, the man, the jal, and Allah is one eye.
There's only the front. There's only oh, how you will recognize. Okay, listen, listen. Why he said to you? Why? Why he said to you? He is. He have this kind of hair. Do Allah have hair? No, Allah does have hair. He's describing of us. Okay. So you do not need to say. You need to know if you are confused. Why he's saying you are confused about him? You know that your Lord is not one eye. So the only difference between them is what is the eye. Because people will be confused in the end of time. My friend, uh, people who will be confused, all what you need to say to them, don't ever believe anyone. He come to you as a man saying, I'm God. That's simple as that. <laughs> you do not need to give this description. This is funny. So now let us go back to the topic. You said to me that I did lie when I say that this is the shaitan. I challenge you. I challenge you to prove to me that this is not the shaitan. You, you first you have to prove that I says Satan. You don't say Satan, and that you're adding to it. My friend, you see, okay, no problem. I will give my proofs. You give me your proof. Give me your proof first, because you are the one who accused me. Show me where in your Islamic religion it says that he is not Satan. Uh, the job. Where it says that he is not Satan? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't even mention that he's Satan. So where, where, where it says he is not Satan. Why would they say it's not Satan? Okay, you, you said, said he is not Satan and he is you are said he is not a human. So now you have to prove to me that there's a third kind because Allah supposed they created angel, genie, and a human. Can you show me where it says that Allah created other kind which, which we do not know about? <coughs> oh you are fabricating things. No, no, there's um just because of his, his, his nature himself, his nature is ambiguous. So that's why. We what is nature grade. ambiguous? And you are. So are, are you are you fabricating things in the name of your God? Don't you know the hadith where you will travel? My friend, uh, don't tell me. Are, are you fabricating things? No, no. This is deduced from the nature. Okay. So can you give me the proof? Okay. It's, I just have to find it. So. Do you know where this proof is exist? Yeah, it exists. Uh, one time he uh, disappeared like in the smoke. So that's he what? the proof. He appeared like he a smoke? Into the smoke, yeah. Mm, like, okay. Into. And? So? Oh, so yeah, that's proof because his nature is not human. Okay. But that means he's a genie because shaitan is made from uh, fire. <laughs> that's what I said. It might be a hybrid. No. It means... What uh, hybrid? You, this hybrid. So, Listen, is uh, it the genie is made from fire? Yeah, it's made from fire. Okay, so you confirm what I said, not what you said. You are going against yourself now. You you said you want to show me a proof that he is like a smoke. Yeah. Okay, but isn't it the genie is like that? Yeah, the genie is like that. But yeah, uh, the hadith also mentions he's uh, he's going to be born, so he's going to be coming from a human family. So what? He will be what? He's going to be coming from like a human family. He's going to have, uh, he's so, going to have parents. Okay, guys, isn't it him who said to me that the Dajjal is not a human? I said it's hybrid, if you, if you understood what okay, I said. Okay, hold on. Hybrid means How he is born hybrid. from a human family, but yet he is not a human? Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm going to explain to you. So, because uh, hybrid means like, uh, um, you, you come from human and also a jinn as well at the same time. So, one of your parents are, are, are a jinn. Anybody understand anything? Human and a jinn gets married and they give an offspring. So are you saying that this guy is a mule, he is half donkey, half horse? No, I never said donkey horse. Well, this is what you are saying. You are saying said, because this is what the what, this is what the mule is. The mule is half donkey, half horse. So you are saying to me that a genie he marry from a, 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 a female, you know? A man or a male genie or female uh, human being or the, the vice versa have sex together and they have a son who is half genie half a human yeah that's a possibility yeah. mm. so um you meet let me okay let me find the nation mm. what you will find for me i'll send it you once i find no point you win <clears throat> Uh, but whereby I thought you were fine for me now where you want to go you want to have fun <laughs> it's going to take time for finding it what 
Yeah. It's gonna take time finding it. I'm gonna open the books. Ah. All right. Okay. Well, as you wish, because I can show you right now as we speak a hundred of reference, hundreds of Islamic reference that he is Shaitan. Yeah, I'll find it before you go offline, inshallah. And I'll send it, and you can read it out. Why is going to take you forever when I can find it for you in two seconds? Because I never know you, I never knew that you're going to ask me this question. <laughs> no, I'm saying to you, you see, you're not noticing what I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you that in your Islamic religion cult, that the Jal is the shaitan and I can prove it very easy yet you are saying to me he is not oh actually I think I found it so it's in Ahmad he says uh, this might be one of the proofs he says uh, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said that the job will emerge at a time when religious commitment is low and knowledge is decreased Isa, Isa Islam will descend just before dawn and will call out people saying oh people why stopping you from coming out against this evil liar they will say this man is a jinn. Okay, he's a jinn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I'm right and you are wrong. Yeah, no, that, no the point I'm making is. No, 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 you, didn't point, you, you are the one who said to me, why well, you are lying? He is a genie. Shaitan is a genie. So you called yeah, me true. and you said to me yeah, you are lying and you gave me the hadith which is proving that I am right and you are wrong. You said to me he is not a shaitan, he is not a genie. I he said I said to you, uh, is he a human? You said no. I said he is a genie. He said no. He said what he is he said he, may, he might be a hybrid uh, create cre created creation. So now you gave me a hadith saying he's a genie. Can I can I explain? Explain. So in this hadith, he says he's a jinn, and in another hadith, he says he's going to be offspring of, of parents. So are you saying so, your prophet so, is a stupid? No, no, this from okay. the, from because the listen, listen, listen. The, uh, hybrid. It doesn't he's matter. He is offspring of who? As long as he is a jinn, he's a jinn. So either you say he's a jinn or you say he's not. He's a jinn and a human as well at the same time. No, you cannot be jinn and a human at the same time. What jinn and a human at the same time? What it says that? I just told you. How you can be jinn and a human at the same time? Exactly. Have you ever experienced it? You never My experienced friend. it. You can't. So you, you can't are saying, the... okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, this, the, 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 the madness of Islam is very, very. This is what, what. This is the fruit of Muhammad. Look at the confusion. So what you are saying to me that the, okay, the father of this guy was a genie or his mother? Uh, one of them, I don't know. One of them. So you must then believe that if a male man have sex with the female genie yes. they will have a baby genie no baby hybrid which is a uh, half human but you are the one who said to me that the child is a genie yeah it's jinn and also human no in my friend hadith. okay hold on the hadith the hadith you gave me the hadith you gave me it says it clearly the word he is a jinn is not half jinn half a human does it say he is a jinn in this hadith, he says jinn. And well, there's the a thousand hadith, other to this hadith. I can show you in this. And I waited for you to search for reference and get yourself busted, and you did it. I just told you the hype. Okay, so, if he's, so he's now let us go here. Hold on. As long as this guy is a human being and he is a jinn, and he, but yet he is a man, he have the look of a man. So why Muhammad is aware of a, or, or afraid that the Muslim might think that this man he is Allah. Do you Muslim believe Allah is a man? No. Nope. Okay. So why he will think that Muslims will think he is Allah? Because he would do miracles? Yeah, miracles. Is okay, Jesus did miracles. Yeah. Muhammad supposedly, according to Islam, did miracles. Yeah, he did. So? I thought you Muslim, you don't believe in any man to be God. Suddenly, you Muslims are aware that God can be a man and you will believe in him. No, there's there going to be people that will. Like, okay, hold on, hold on. What is my guarantee? You just said that this genie, he come to us in the shape of a man, right? Uh, the what? The, the Jal, the Shaitan. I prove that he's a genie and he's a Shaitan. No, he's not Shaitan. The Jinn is not a Shaitan. That's false. Okay, hold on. Jinn can be I, Shaitan. I forgot, do you speak Arabic? 
little bit. Little bit. All right. There is tons of hadith saying that he is the shaitan. I can give you an Islamic link. Have endless reference. Endless. What's she? Huh? Who, who is shaitan? Dajjal. The Dajjal. Okay, come on, show it. <laughs> okay, let us see. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> Let us see. But the one that will melt in the hadith, just, you just wait, just that's wait, shit, no? just wait. That's not Everybody shit. is so. laughing. Just wait at you and the, and, and your knowledge. Uh, your Muslims are really funny. I will put in the screen for you this link. All those reference. Look how many. Look how many. Look, 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 look. Look how many. All of those saying that he is Shaitan. Qal al Hafiz. Have you ever heard of the Imam al Hafiz in the book of Fatah, volume number thirteen, page number three two eight? Speaking about the Dajjal, he is uh, he is a shaitan. The shaitan he come in the image of the Dajjal, and he went to Asfahan. Asfahan. <laughs> Here, uh, the Sheikh of Al Allama Al Muhaddith Abdul Rahman Ibn Wihi Al Muallimi, he said, "Fi kitabihi Al Anwar Al Kashifa, page number one thirty four. He said, "It is the shaitan." فرأوا الدجال وجساسته وخاطبوهما ثم عاد حالهما إلى طبيعة طبيعة الشياطين من الاستتار وإن كان الدجال إنسانا فلا أرى ذلك إلا شيطانا مثل صورة الدجال If you are saying that he is a human I don't see that I see only that he is a شيطان So there is tons of reference from your Islamic books and those are the big scholars saying clearly that the Dajjal is the Shaitan. So what you are saying to me, I'm lying when I say that. Uh, in the Hadith, it doesn't say Shaitan, that's what I was saying. That's false. My friend, okay, doesn't say... Oh, hold because on, hold the way you on. Okay, see, okay. I'll tell you what. okay, let me ask you. So, the Dajjal is the enemy of Allah. How make that person enemy to Allah? as level I mean there is millions of people don't believe in Allah I am an enemy to Allah okay so how you know that the Dajjal is this person and what is unique about him and where he got his power uh, the one that will melt you talking about <clears throat> huh what are you saying what are you asking how the Dajjal in your mind in your understanding you said he will do a lot of miracles. Where he will get his power from? So Allah will send him as a test. As I think I discussed this with you last time. Hmm. Allah will send him so that the Dajjal is a good person. No, no, he's not a good person. Okay, you just said Allah will send him. Yeah, he's going to be okay. um, sent back. Allah, he sent Jibreel, correct? Allah, he sent Jibreel. Is that true? Yeah. Allah sent Muhammad. Is that true? Yeah. Allah sent Dajjal. Is that true? You see, you are the one who said he is sent by Allah. So if the Dajjal is sent by Allah, that means he is a servant of Allah. And the true false shaitan is Allah. Let me ask you, is it true that Allah, he said that he is the one who sent shaitan? Um, yeah, he created him. No, did he say he sent Shaitan? He sent him to do the work of Shaitan. Did he say that? He appointed him. Yeah. Thank you. So Shaitan, at the end of the day, in Islam, is Allah. 
because shaitan is just a lower level than the big shaitan. Allah is the big shaitan, and Allah and, and the shaitan is the, the servant. So let us say Allah is the name of the king of shaitan, and then Allah no, he is commanding the lower shaitan. This is what you are saying to me. Everybody heard you saying that Allah he appointed. You said Allah appointed shaitan. Did you say that? So yeah, Allah appointed you shaitan. Okay. If if you are appointed by somebody, it's mean you are employed by that body. Is that correct? No, he's not employed. He has so, free will. So what do you mean appointed then? Because if you appoint me to do a job and I'm doing the job you appointed me to, it's mean I'm working for you. Uh, one minute. Let me find the explanation. Ask the alim about this. So uh, what we learn from your call that shaitan is the dajjal. And this is what your scholars agree with. And you are the one who gave me a hadith saying he is a genie. And shaitan is a genie. And you are the so one who agreed that shaitan is appointed by Allah. Which means he is serving yeah, even, Allah. Yeah, even, even your God allow, allowed evil to exist and it allowed Satan to exist. My even, friend, even the Bible though. says God allowed the sun to raise upon the good and the bad. Okay. He, 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 he allow, allow, uh, allow free will. So people they do whatever they want. So here, do you know? Let me, let me you ask you. Did, did God, did God of the Bible created Satan to be Satan, or he created him to be an angel? Hmm? Did God of the Bible created Satan as an angel or as Satan? He created him as angel, but he knew he's going to be Satan. Mm, okay. So he could stop. Hold on. He could have stopped. Anything, no problem. No problem. No, okay. Okay. But okay, God, he can stop me from. Uh, killing somebody, correct? Yeah. Okay. So according to you, God is a criminal because he did not stop me from killing somebody. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that your the standard you're applying to me is the same thing. With no, you I'm not. You. I'm not doing that. No. You see, in in Islam, God he sent Shaitan to do the work of Shaitan. The verse in the front of you. In the Bible, God did not hire Shaitan to do to do the Shaitan work. He decided to be. He challenged God. Okay. Did your God did your God uh, create uh, evil? He created Shaitan, so yes, he created evil. Okay, and uh, did he also send? But did he create Shaitan to be evil, or he created him to be good? Did he, did he send the evil spirit? My friend, my friend, you, uh, the, the, the evil spirit there is them. Is this is their desire? If if somebody <laughs> let, let, let me show you let, let me show you how shallow the Muslims when they try spirit. to explain. Hold on, hold on. Every, everybody will laugh at you. When God he unleashed the evil spirit on you, which means you choose not to be with God, so God is not protecting you. This is what it's all it's about. So if okay, I so am not listen, if I am not believing in the Messiah, now the evil spirit of Muhammad will be upon me and I will be the slave of the devil Allah. Okay, so so listen to this. So what's a spirit and why does evil spirit in the Bible God sends it to people to trouble them? Well, God, he sent us down to earth and he said to Adam that shaitan will be your enemy and, you know, he will he will go after your children and you will go after him as a snake. So God, he you know, he punished Adam. He says, from now on, you have no protection from me. You are by your own. And this is the shaitan. He will be your enemy. And the Quran saying the same copy in the Bible. So when God, he decide that Adam don't deserve to be in heaven no more. And sin bring death. He says to him, "You go down to earth, and death you die. And Satan will be your enemy. He will go after your children, and you will break his head, which means you will be enemy forever." So this is in your book too. But the difference is, Shaitan uh -huh. in your book is working as a servant for Allah, not the opposite. Let me ask you: When when Adam he broke the command of Allah? Is it Shaitan who made him break it or Allah? Uh, so uh, when Adam broke the uh, what? When, when Adam he, he broke the command of Allah. <laughs> yeah, so when he broke the command of Allah, he did it out of his free will. Free will? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, before we go to on to that, in the Bible it says an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Okay. So it, it, like from the Lord troubled him. So mm. an evil spirit that came from the Lord mm. is, is, is troubled. Well, everything him. is coming from the Lord. But let me let me show everybody that you do not know your book and you are accusing your prophet to be a false prophet. Thank you very much. 
Here you will see in the front of you that Muhammad saying it clearly that Adam is a victim of Satan, but not than the Satan we know. He is the victim of Allah. Look at this. This is the hadith your prophet saying. That Allah He forced Adam to commit sin oh, And no, Adam oh, Hold on Everybody Everybody Will see Will see what uh, 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 What it says Here we go <clears throat> You see the hadith All of those hadith are sahih I'm just showing you a collection of them Read for me this is your prophet saying there was an argument between Adam and Moses. Adam was accused, uh, was, uh, was accused by Moses, mm -hmm. says to him, because of you, we are out of heaven. And then to make the story yeah. short, okay, to make the story short, Adam said to him, are you blaming me that I commit sin for an act which Allah, he wrote for me 40 years before he created me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how you can blame me for that? You cannot. So, do you blame me for what God ordained for me to do? This is the ordained of God. This is faith. And your God, he repeat that story. Your God, Muhammad, repeated the story that Adam, he did what Allah ordained for him. And this is his faith, an act which Allah has ordained for me that I must commit. I must commit. I, it's not up to me. So how you say to me that Adam, he did that by free will? Where do you get this from? Okay, for, for many reasons. So firstly, in the Quranic verse, we know that uh, Adam, Islam, he repented. He said, Rabbana, Zalamna, and Pusana. That's not the so story. Like, That's not the story. Okay, you see, you are, you, so you are, you are now accusing your prophet to be a liar, correct? Yeah, you know, let me finish. So. No, no, I, I, I'm going with you because either you say Adam have no free will, or you say he have a free will. So I want I want you to give me the straight answer. Are you saying Adam have a free will? Yeah, he definitely got okay. free will. That means Muhammad is a liar. Because it's Muhammad who is saying that, not me. Are you debating Muhammad now? No, no, I'm debating okay. you. You understand no. of the hadith. No, 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 no. no you, I'm not understanding. Here we go. I want you to read the hadith and you explain it to us. Everybody will laugh. Yeah, yeah I'm explaining to you. Okay. The hadith. The hadith. Um, First, let me tell you the evidence that he's got free will. The evidence is that in the, in the Quran, um, Prophet Adam, he repented. So why would you repent for something that wasn't in your control? You would say, look, I have no free will. There's no, there's no need to repent. Mm. So it shows you that he, he repented from his, his uh, from his mistake and he realized mm. that he made an error. Mm. And uh, so that's everything he's got free will. And this hadith is telling you about further. It's, uh, what happened was Musa, uh, Musa was accusing Adam of, uh, uh, let me see, generation. He was saying... Indeed. So they had an argument. Hmm. Here we go. This is the verse you have in the Quran. It's in the Hadith, and Muhammad is laughing at you at your explanation. Look, it says here, "What is your opinion? How long the Torah would have uh, been written before I was created?" Musa said, "Forty years before." Adam said, "Didn't did you not see these words? Adam committed an error." And he was enticed to do so. Do you know what enticed mean? Yeah, he was um, um, like, like you know, encouraged kind of thing. What encouraged? Enti inside, who is the one who encouraged him to do so? Yeah, Shaitan. Shaitan? Okay, hold on. He Musa said, yes, whereupon Adam, he said, Do you blame me for an act which Allah had ordained for me 40 years before he created me? Who is the one or the night that Adam should commit sin? And we cannot blame as because if Adam commits sin, then we can blame him for the sin. Is that correct? So, no, so you know, the thing is, we can't blame him for, Why not? for doing something. Why not? Why not? If he commits oh, sin, I can't blame you for your sin. If I commit sin now, you can't blame me for my sin. Because he's he's gone through the consequences and there's no need. No, to, no, 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 no. Uh, we can't consequences. All of us, we are recovering consequences. It says you cannot blame me for an act Allah ordained for me. Yes. The, okay. If you look at the Arabic, it says Qadr. So we have a whole concept of Qadr. What's the okay. And first of all, so, it doesn't say the word Qadr, and you are an idiot. Where the word Qadr? It does say Qadr. Where it says okay. the word Qadr? Where? 
Let me find the one. Hmm. It's in the front of you. It says, "Qal, qal Adam, fahel wajdta fiha wa asa Adam Rabbahu faghwa. Qal naam. Qal fatalumani ala an ala an amiltu amal an katabu Allahu li. He wrote for me. It doesn't say the word Qadar." But I understand you are trying to say this is fate, and this is what we are saying actually, that this is about Allah. He wrote for him his destiny. Yeah, he says Qadar. He says here Qadar Allah Aliya Qabla An Yahya. Qadara, Qadara, not Qadara. It's Qadara. Qadara is different from Qadara. Qadara Aliya. So Allah He ordained for me. Who is the one who ordained? Okay, what what Qadara mean? What Qadara mean? What Qadara? No, no, listen. The the root word is called the Dalam Ra, so that's the same. It's the same. Uh, it has a similar meaning. No, Qadara and Qadara is different. This is why this, the pronunciation is different. Alright, but Allah decreed. Qadara it. can be to evaluate something to say what it is. Like uh, uh, you know, you can say Qadru had a rajul. Like as example, uh, what his position is, uh, how his value. Like. Uh, Uh, you say Allah al Qadir, so Allah is the able. So there's many meaning, but the word Qadara, it's about He or the night fate. Let me ask. You, so when a when a, when a, when a, okay, when a person he commit adultery, is he choosing to commit adultery or it's not a choice? I know the hadith that forty. Uh, everyone has a decree that okay. Forty. So if you are saying to me, we must then believe that adultery is a free will. Do you believe in a free will or you don't believe in a free will? It's free will, but this is uh, part of other like that. It's decreed for that person whatever adultery is going to commit. Okay. It's, it's, so how it's, it's a free already... will, but Allah He wrote for you the fortune which you must commit. For many reasons. So, okay, let me explain. So, Allah has this within His knowledge. So He knows that it's going to happen. He wrote it down in uh, Lawh al Mahbud. So this is what we call Qadr. So He wrote it down, and He knows it's going to happen, and He allowed that to happen, and He and he, and th that's what Qadr is. So when someone blames you for something that's already ha has happened, then we we uh, in the Quran it says that we should always, um, you know, we should get upset of something that's already happened. Because this is going to happen anyway, so you shouldn't be becoming sad over it. So he says this in the Quran. But look what it says. It says which is a necessity must commit. It's a necessity. Necessity must commit. So Allah He wrote His knowledge, or Allah He wrote destiny. So okay, obviously it's it's can't go against the the plan of Allah. This is another question. Okay, so is it the plan of Allah that He commits sin, or this is your plan? Within the plan of Allah, Allah allowed this happen. This is another question: Is that is you committing adultery, your plan or Allah plan? So the adultery, the person does it. Do 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 I, why you don't answer? When you commit adultery, is that your choice or Allah decision? So no, no one can move the hand. Why you don't answer me? Either you say yes or that. Is it Allah decision that you will do this adultery, or it is your decision? The what do you mean decision? When you when you say decision with Allah. Okay, what when I want to sleep with the women, I am the one who take off my clothes. I am the one who decide to sleep with her, and I am the one who go for it. Is that me doing that, or Allah? He is making me doing it. Or that's you doing that. Course. This is not the question. Is it me doing it by my choice or Allah making me doing it? You're doing that by your choice. Okay, but look what it says here. It is a necessity to commit. You have no choice. Where is the choice? Yeah, if, if Allah is speaking. So let, let me see the hadith on your screen. <clears throat> So it says, "Very Allah fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, and which uh, he of necessity must commit: the adultery of the eyes, the lustful look, and the ears, the adultery of the tongue, and the heart, the ears, uh, which the past may or may not mm. come uh, put into effect." Mm. So all this time you were answering me without reading the hadith. Now you decide to read it. No, I'm just reading it again. Okay. So now, what is the conclusion? In the past. What is the conclusion? <coughs> 
So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Allah, no one can move their hands. No one can desire without Allah uh, allowing that person. So no, 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 there's, an, there's, a, there's another question. There's another question. This is not the. This is not the question. Okay, hold on. Let me show everybody that how Muslims always they lie, and they speak against their own Quran. Hold on. You keep saying to me, nobody can do anything without the will of Allah. Nobody can do anything without the will of Allah. Nobody can do anything without the will of Allah. Now, of course, is it the will of Allah to commit sin or it is the will of you? So the two types of will, when we, when we talk about will, there's this is another question. Of, uh, you know my question. And my question is so clear. When I commit a crime, is it Allah forcing me to do the crime or I am doing the crime without Allah involvement? Yeah, you're doing the crime on your own. Allah's not uh, making you do All right. It. I will go and see what Muhammad said about your lies. Here we go. We go in the Quran. <clears throat> we found this on the Hadith first. Your Prophet saying the following. I'm going to stay for another five minutes, uh, about five, ten minutes. No problem. You can leave if you want, no problem. People have enough fun in case you want to go. You will see here that when you are just a child, Allah, He command to order four things. His provision in this world, His conduct, whether He will be happy or miserable, and He will be beside whom. There is no true God, fairly one, etc. So Allah, he write the destiny of you when you were a child. And this destiny, you have to do as Allah, he said. Do you agree with that or not? Uh, yeah, of course, Allah is going to write this. Okay, so I grow up and Allah, he wrote for me when I was a sperm, that I will be a criminal. Is that the destiny of Allah or this is my choice to be a criminal? So within the decree, Allah give you Allah give you multiple pathways. And okay, you see, you. let me let me uh, 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 excuse my language. Let me hit you in the face. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, this is here we go. You are a liar, <laughs> and you are a certified liar, and you deserve to be spanked in the face. Is that your uh, prophet? You saying the following? Read carefully. That when you are when that uh, 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 when when the forty two night pass. After the semen gets into the womb, Muhammad, he think, the mad Muhammad think, that semen start and stay inside the woman Billy for 42 nights. Look at this. Allah sent his angels and give him the shape. Then he created his sense of hearing, sense of sight, his, his skin, his flesh and his bones. Then he say, may the Lord would be male or female, and the Lord, the Lord would decide. As he desired, as he desired, and the angels then put down also and then say, May Lord, what about his age? And your Lord decide he is like what he will like. And then he decide whatever he desire to be written down. But look what it says in this following hadith. I just showed you this one so we can read the other one. This is Sahih Bukhari, so you cannot say it is weak or this is reje rejected. It says here, Muhammad is swearing by Allah. First, he explained how Allah created you and then he write your deeds. He write down your deeds. And you are the one who said to us, it is you who chose Allah. He just know the future, correct? Okay, look what it says. Muhammad is saying, swearing by Allah, that one of you, one of you, he will do the deeds which is going to in the character of people of paradise so much that there is nothing except a cubit between him and paradise but then what has been written for him decided his behavior and he started doing evil deeds categorizing or sorry the character of the people of the hellfire and then he go to the hellfire so why are you lying to yes. me yeah, so what, what has been, he says here, what has been written 
will be decided for him what what what, what has been written so the question that happens now is the question is uh, what has been written or what Allah has written mm. Allah has written this from his knowledge so from his knowledge you've written that he's uh, you, you see how stupid you are look it says it says what uh, Allah has written will proceed yeah, of course. Of okay, course. so the guy he is doing the, the God without, without Allah written, he was doing the deed of uh, of heaven. <laughs> but what Allah written will change it. No, no, it doesn't say. Look, change it, read carefully. Read carefully. You are a liar. You have no shame. And then it says, "And him and paradise." But but then, what has been written for him decides his behavior, and start doing the evil deeds. Who is the one who decide his behavior? What is written? <laughs> yeah, I have to check the other people. Okay, good. Check. Go, go, go. You are just a kid. You see, I'm being patient with you, just to show show people example of the stupidity when somebody decide to be stupid. I have to check. The second he is in the corner, I have to check. Anything you say to them, I have to check, which means I'm not going to answer you. Don't get me busted. No, you are getting busted. Because at the end of the day, it is what Allah wrote for you will decide your behavior. It's not what you want to do will decide your behavior. And the, and the hadith is so clear. And this is Sahih Bukhari. And you cannot say it is weak. <laughs>